Good morning, friends. Welcome to the series Strategical Saturday. This is part two of the Strategical Saturday, and today's topic is exchanges and the entry point. Okay, so this was the game between uh, Howard Adam versus uh, Kushagra Mohan, and here White was uh, Howard Adam. Of course, Kushagra is a very strong Indian talented player. Um, okay, so let's see now uh, in game here White played Bishop d5. And now it's uh, just asking him to play c6 uh, and we'll see uh, why this bishop d5 is uh, a very good move because rook b8 simply weakens the a6 pawn in future uh, which may allow bishop a7 as well in future so um, uh, here uh, Kushagra played c6 and white played bishop a2 uh, and of course uh, a here a lot there are lots of weak squares and uh, even if uh, uh, black uh, decided to trade the queen with queen d1, rook d1, and bishop f3, gf3, bishop e7 back, and f4. Still, uh, white has bishop pass, so it is ideal to trade, um, uh, uh, trade, trade central pawns and try to open the position. Uh, but here, uh, black decided to play queen e7 and then short castle. Short castle h3. Uh, now, of course, bishop f3 is still bad because of uh, a strong bishop pair for white. So, black decided to play uh, bishop to d7. But again, uh, I would say that uh, bishop e6 uh, might be a better option. Although, uh, still white remains better, but it is necessary to uh, exchange the strong a2 bishop. So again, this is our uh, fifth topic, uh, exchanging uh, opponent strong piece or nullify opponent strong piece. Actually, fifth one is uh, basically mysterious topic uh, on the exchanges. So bishop e6, so we can consider in that part. So bishop e6 is ideal, um, but here in game, bishop d7 was played. Now queen e2, uh, just eyeing on uh, a6 pawn as well. Now after rook f uh, b8, so... Uh, Black's intention uh, might be just to throw this uh, pawn on uh, b4 with b3. So white decided to stop it and maneuver uh, with the moon knight c4 as well. So now knight b7 and now bishop to c4. So uh, because uh, knight b3 simply blocks the bishop and, and uh, uh, so actually okay knight c4 might be a possible move but okay. Uh, fourth move was uh, good enough. He played bishop c4, and uh, now his next move is knight b3. Okay, so now a5 and now knight b3. So uh, now you can already see that a5 pawn is weak, c5 square is weak, c4 square is weak, and uh, white has already achieved uh, all these weak squares. Okay, now queen d8, rook f d1. So everything looks natural so far, and now queen c7. And uh, here you can uh, just pause the video and try to find out the best move as white. Uh, so here the topic starts, exchanges uh, and the entry point. Uh, yes, so here you have two types of exchanges possible. One is knight c5 and uh, where uh, you are going to improve your dash for bishop and then your bishop uh, will come to d6 or maybe the rook can come to d6. So this is of course a one choice, knight c5. Knight c5, bishop c5, uh, rook d8, queen e3, and uh, after bishop e8, uh, okay, bishop d6 made by rook d1. So uh, still white is better, but uh, the game continue with a slightly different move, and uh, which is of course a very instructive move actually. Uh, Hot played bishop to b6. Now why bishop to b6? Because we want to uh, want to enter our rook with rook d7. So of course seven is heaven we already know. Uh, so after bishop b6, uh, let's say if if queen goes to c8, then bishop a6, and this slightly awkward move actually helps white to immediately win a game because now knight a5 or knight c5 is a threat. So uh, of course uh, black is forced to take on d7, and now uh, uh, now you see uh, we have treated our uh, dark square bishop with this rook. So ideally this this trade looks slightly awkward because uh, our dark square remains weak but the point is uh, no one is going to cover it right so uh, of course we can say that is something is weak but if someone is not going to exploit it we can't say that it is weak right so after bishop d6 queen into b6 and rook d7 so the point is uh, black has no time to uh, react uh, to our dark squares because now immediately the f7 is weak so uh, 
black has to go to rook f8 and now again try to pause the video and try to find out the best move as white so uh, this was the position which has uh, sorry in uh, the introduction uh, part and here again it is white to play and try to find out the best move so again uh, see which is the piece which is um, basically um, holding black's position yes it's queen queen is the overloaded piece here which controls c5 defend the c6 pawn defend the knight on uh, b7 defend the a7 uh, a5 pawn so here howard played a beautiful move queen to e3 so of course there are lots of natural moves here like uh, rook uh, or rook a d1 or some uh, other moves as well maybe uh, just bishop a7 takes takes queen here but uh, i don't think so there is uh, anything uh, possible here with this uh, rook f8 but okay here it's better to play uh, just queen to e3 this is a fantastic move because uh, uh, now simply after okay because it is uh, again forced to take uh, as well because uh, d5 is simply made by bishop d5 and rook b8 then uh, uh, rook d1 with the idea of uh, knight d2 knight c4 so it is forced for uh, black to take on e3 now pawn into e3 now uh, of course we know that these double pawns are bad but the point is uh, again black has no time to exploit this double pawn weaknesses uh, and after f3 uh, first black is forced to defend his knight and uh, so rook b8 is of course still not good because even after so rook b8 we just play rook f uh, d1 and try to improve our king and you see it's almost a zoog zwang because if knight moves then a5 pawn is hanging f8 rook cannot move uh, uh, rook on b8 cannot move so the only piece which can move is just a bishop and uh, there is no task for the bishop on the uh, whole board so uh, rook b8 is of course not a good idea and that's why Krushagar played uh, knight d8 now rook d1 so now bishop g5 uh, so again you see knight d6 uh, is not good uh, because you see this uh, double pawn looks bad but actually it is uh, it, it covers the d4 and f4 square so it, it does a very good job uh, so okay here instead of oops um, after rook d1 here bishop g5 and king f2 uh, now uh, again say knight e6 is made by rook 1 d6 uh, and followed by rook c6 uh, wins a pawn so uh, black decided to play king h8 and go for some counter with g6 f5 or maybe f5 okay so king e2 and f5 is again uh, still not good because f5 is uh, simply takes and after uh, rook f5 uh, just knight c5 and the e4 square is uh, so weak that uh, knight is simply going to achieve knight e4 knight d6 and knight f7 so uh, f5 is still not good and that's why here uh, black played g6 in order to play f5 so uh, again just try to find out the best move as white uh, so here uh, just white played a cool move rook c7 and uh, just penetrated with the second rook on uh, uh, d7 okay so again the risk part is easy we are just quickly go through the game uh, Krishagra played rook g7 uh, and here white played uh, rook d d7 because of course bishop f7 simply releases the tension because uh, after bishop f7, knight f7, rook f7 actually white has not achieved any pass pawn and he gave up his uh, strong bishop with a bad knight so uh, of course there is no point of taking the pawn like f7 uh, so it is ideal to play just play uh, rook d7 followed by rook a7 and once if you trade that rook a5 pawn falls and uh, a4 pawn becomes queen so uh, uh, this is an easy way to finish it off right so uh, this was the point of uh, exchanges and the entry point so uh, the crucial the two decisions was uh, first this uh, three decisions in fact actually uh, one is bishop d5 uh, uh, when uh, here uh, let me show you the position on uh, move number uh, 13 where white played uh, bishop d5 and uh, uh, asking him some weaknesses uh, provoking some weaknesses with the c6 uh, so this was the first uh, uh, point and then the second point was bishop b6 uh, exchanging uh, the light square bishop and took entry with the rook and the third part was uh, queen e3 because uh, queen e3 was uh, uh, I mean queen b6 was just holding black's position so uh, with the queen e3 uh, white simply uh, 
uh, keeps his rook on decent for a longer time and uh, increases the pressure with the second rook as well. Uh, so uh, this is the point of exchanges and the entry point. So hope you have enjoyed my second video as well in the series uh, strategical uh, Saturday. So uh, stay tuned for the uh, next video in uh, upcoming Saturday. Thank you friends.